Hey girls, Kaylee here with another wedding inspired style. I really like this one because it's really easy but it looks hard so you can kind of trick people into thinking that you did more than you really did. It's always good. Um, and then I think it's good for either if you're just a guest at a wedding or if you're a bridesmaid or if you're a bride. It fits a lot of different scenarios. So I think it's really good and I hope you guys try it out because it's a lot easier than you think. Um, I did derive some inspiration from a picture I saw online but this is not anywhere near to the original style but just... For the record, I did get inspired by a picture that I saw online to create this because I figure a lot of you guys have probably seen the picture that I'm talking about. So that's that, and I hope you guys like this, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Mwah! Bye! First, you're going to bump it. Take a section at the apex of your head and go ahead and tease up the hair shaft just a bit, and then take a corresponding section on either side and tease up that as well. That way you get a nice full bump. And then go ahead and smooth it back so that it doesn't look messy, but it still looks nice and voluminous. And then pull it together and bobby pin the base of the bump. Somehow I missed getting footage of that. Then you're going to braid it. Now basically you're going to take a small section from the front, basically all the hair in front of your ears, and you're going to start Dutch braiding backwards. And we're going to Dutch braid only including hair from the top, and you're going to follow the outside line of that bump. So you can see right here we're kind of Dutch braiding backwards and keeping that right along the edge of where we put that little bump. And then you're going to actually start Dutch braiding with the hair that comes out of the bump. Now you want to be really careful here not to accidentally pull the bump out because that's really easy to do. So make sure that you gently separate the hair before you braid it in and don't pull it on it at all. Then just braid maybe two inches past where you have the bump and then braid normally down the hair. Then pin into that braid just to give it some stability so it doesn't end up pulling the bump out as well. And that's it for our braiding step. Next step is to loop it, and this is going to get all those little loops that we see at the bottom. Take about a two or three inch section, wrap it around two fingers, and then just roll that up against your head, kind of like your hair is on a roller, and pin it into place. And that's really all we're doing in this step is creating these little rolls up against your head. And you can see here I'm taking another section, and then you want to position it right next to the previous section. And just continue that until you have all the hair except for the hair that's coming out of the braid incorporated. So you've got this one and then pinning that into place and then we're going to go ahead and arrange the hair from the front. So take the hair that's left on the front that hasn't been incorporated yet. I went ahead and stuck a bobby pin halfway through it, kind of picked up the hair and put it underneath and pin it in place. That way it comes back really nicely and seamlessly. Now with the hair from the braid, you're going to go ahead and take it back and create little loops going back into the loops that we already made. It's going to create a little bit of texture and also it's going to help us to get more hair on that left side because the right side is very heavy because we braided all the hair over to there. So this is going to kind of help to even things out a little bit. So here I'm creating my last loop and just placing it. You want to be watching yourself in the mirror as you're doing this because you need to place each of these loops very, very carefully. I had to do this without a mirror and then I went back and repeated these same steps with the mirror so that you can see this is a little bit, my end product is a little bit neater than the first one that I did because I could actually see what I was doing. Um, but when you're watching what you're doing, it's actually quite simple because you're just looking at it, placing each loop where it needs to go and pinning it in place and it stays really nicely. And here are some more hairstyles that correspond to the one that I just showed you. I think these all go really nicely with it, so if you like this style, you'll like those. Also, if you're trying to plan like some bridesmaid hairstyles, these all go really well together. I hope you guys like this. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!